Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. This is gonna be a real quick message, just a reminder to everyone that you know during the holiday season we're hustling and bustling and running and we're trying to do this and that and shopping and there are a lot of scams out there, a lot of them. And I just wanted to remind you, sorry, I'm adjusting my camera, um, that they're not only out there during the holiday season, they're out there all year long, but they are especially on fire right now because it's a holiday and they know people have cash and cash or credit or whatever. And they just want your money. They want as much of your money as they can get, even if it destroys your life. Just be careful. Seriously. There are some really great YouTube channels out there that um, fight against this. Um, feel free to check them out. Kit Boga is a good one um scammer pay brett back which has pierogi <laughs> you'll recognize him with the blue hair usually bluish green uh hair um and pleasant green those are three channels that i have uh seen that do a really good job at not only stopping the scammer but exposing them to other people and pleasant green has appeared to been able to get some people to turn their lives around But remember, Social Security Office, if you're in America, Social Security Office is not going to be calling you saying, hey, you owe us some money. They don't work like that. You will get that official letter in the mail and you can go directly to your local Social Security Office, which is probably not very far from you. If you try to call the Social Security Office, you may be on hold forever. <laughs> I work in a field where I help people to try to connect to those types of resources. Um, but you can call them, but call them at the 800 number that they have listed. If somebody calls you and say they're from the Social Security office and they want you to call back, don't call that number back. Do not call that number back. Don't do it. Go to your local Social Security office which you should be able to find or, or know where it is fairly easy. If you don't know where it is, you call United Way. Their first call for help number, it's a free resource and they will help connect you to that. Don't be sending money to nobody you don't know. I don't care who they say they are. Don't do it. And Social Security is not gonna say, hey, you gotta go out and buy some gift cards and." and give me the passwords, that's crazy. Don't do it. Nobody should be do, saying that. If somebody's sending you an email saying that they're your boss or whatever, and oh, I forgot to get gift cards for, for Christmas for, for the staff. Can you go out and buy such and such amount from this place? And then just send me the pin numbers. That's a scam, okay? It's a scam. If somebody calls you saying, Grandma, I'm in jail or I got myself in trouble. Send me some money. Do you know that person? Are you even a grandparent? Are you? <clears throat> Another thing, don't put all your information out there on social, social media. And I know people are real comfortable with doing that. Uh, all their likes and dislikes and, hey, this is me doing this and this place and this and this place. And this is my family member and this is my family member. You are giving tools that people can use to mess up your life. And they will do that. They will do the sucker punch on you by having your information and flipping the script to make it look like they are somebody whom they are not. And that whole time, they're just really somebody wearing a mask. You don't know who that person is. Don't do it. People have contacted me through like Facebook, Messenger, and sure, they put a little picture up there looking like they're my sister, my cousin, or whomever. Um, and hi, how are you today? Really? It's like, okay. Even though I see the picture, I click on it and try to go back and check out the home page. You know why? Because I want to know for sure, is that someone I know or is that someone that's copied a page of someone that I know and they only have like one or two friends or and when you dig deeper into it you find out they've just been following you trying to see what kind of information that they get 
So oftentimes what I'll do is say, oh, when was the last time you talked to so-and-so? Especially if I know they live in that town with the person and, and, and all that. And, oh, yeah, yeah, everything's great. It's, you know, I, I, I saw them the other day. I was like, really? Call me. Not through Messenger. Call me. Because clearly you would have my number and I, you know, and we'll do a three-way conversation with that other person. And they disappear quickly. So if you notice any scams or anything weird going on, report it right away. I'm just telling you, don't waste your time. You can if you want to, but people can sucker punch you into losing all that you have. It's best to just report it right away. Email saying, oh, is this you? Is this your new email address? I don't know you. Praise the Lord. Remember me from such and such a church? No, I don't. Never met you, don't know you. Or if you're on social media and you're responding to something a friend said and somebody posts in the comment section, yeah, contact this person. You'll thank me later. Uh, I don't know you and you don't know me. So cool it. Put it right out there. Make it clear as day. Because there's a lot of foolishness going on. And people saying, oh, I'm going to just give away all this money to, to help others. Okay. <laughs> Meet me at the coffee shop. You giving away money. Or better yet, let's meet at the police station or uh, uh, at the FBI building. <laughs> You're giving away money. Really? Don't let people draw you in to some weird stuff because it's going on. I'm telling you, it's going on in record numbers. People that I know are getting letters and, oh, and this letter says that I just won a sweepstakes and I've won all of this. All I've got to do is send this money and then they'll release the rest of it to me. Since when have you ever had to pay for something that you want? Except taxes. Like if you were gone to the casino or whatever or or, or played in, and you actually played a sweepstakes like one of these that, that you sign up for and you send in information and you wait what seems like for years. If you won that... They may take taxes out of what you're getting, but they're not having you pay up front for um, money because it's stuck in customs. No, doesn't happen. It does not happen. This is the United States of America, and I don't know how it is for other countries, but no, it doesn't happen. One time I had somebody contact me and called me on the phone. That was before I had my phone set up where it recognizes, you know, which calls are scam calls, so I don't even bother with those now. But someone called once, and you just won Publishers Clearinghouse, yay! And I'm all excited with them. This was years ago. And I thought about it. I was like, wait, wait a minute. When did I apply for that? You have to fill out all that paperwork and send that stuff in. And you wait month after month after month. And like the commercial used to show, person getting older and older and older and older. And you never hear about anybody winning. Except for people that are, you know, not in a situation where they may need as much as other folks. Um, so, I question that. It's like... Yeah, you want all this. Oh, this is wonderful. Just now the money is at customs, at customs. And we just need you to just, we're going to have a courier come and pick up this money. And I said, wait a minute. That's not how it works. I'll be waiting right here for, it wasn't, it wasn't Publishers Clearing House. It was American Family Publishers, I think. Because I said, I'll be waiting right here for Ed McMahon, that big check, 
and the big white van out there with the balloons. And I want to see the news people that I know that I watch on television every day. They all going to be at my door when I win something. So what time are y'all showing up? Because I can see through the window. Never heard from them again. But anyway, my whole point is that there's a lot of scams going on out there. Um, be vigilant. Be careful. I don't care if they say they're the Social Security office. I don't, and they say, we're going to have you arrested. We're going to send officers to you right now. Yes, please do. In fact, let me call 911 right now. Because it's a lie. <laughs> Social Security office doesn't do that. They will send you an official mail and they'll tell you if your um, benefits are going up or going down. Because this is the time of year when they do that. And, and then you can look at it and especially like people on Medicare and all that. Social Security just had to change all that. Because people, you know, you have your Medicare card and it used to have your Social Security number. That made people an easy target. To being used. I'm glad that they changed it, but it seems like now people just keep pulling out the old card. It's like, look, when you got the new card, you should have shred that old card because you don't want people having that kind of information. That's like giving people your bank information. Your social security number, that controls a whole lot of stuff. All your personal stuff for your life. Seriously, people. So, be mindful for what you're do about what you're doing. Don't let people get you caught up in romance scams or or get rich quick scams. And I'm gonna travel the world. You know, we just, you know, the, there's all these different pyramid schemes and companies and things out there that'll that'll make you feel like a million bucks. They'll invite you to a meeting that's you know somewhere that's open and free, like Mall of America or something. Hey, let's all meet at this restaurant where the music is loud and bumping and everybody's jumping up and down and we're just going to order one big tray of hot wings. And the first beverage is on us. Then after that, you know, they expect you to be so excited because you're hearing rah, rah, rah. Ooh, look at these wonderful trips I went on and, 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 they want you to take that ink pen and sign on the dotted line and have your credit card information there so that you can say, yes, I'm dreaming about taking that trip too. You might be dreaming forever because what they're going to do is be taking that money from your bank account until there's nothing there. I'm not saying that all of these things are a scam, but I am saying that there are many that have approached me that I questioned and found out later, yes, they were scamming people. And now they're bankrupt. Hmm, imagine that. So people got to climb on other people's back so that somebody is number one all the way at the top and everybody else is losing money. Unless they're inviting 10 or 20 of their friends to do the same thing. Taking advantage of your friends? Really? Scammers come in a lot of different forms. They come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. I am just saying, please be careful out there. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. There, there are. I'm not saying that there aren't nice people in the world. Because there are some nice people in the world. But I am saying that there are some tricksters out there too. So please be vigilant and and um, be mindful of what you're, what you're doing, um, who you're talking to. If you don't know the person, it's an issue. If you're starting to have memory concerns yourself, you may wanna have a second or third person with you, people that you know family members, friends, or whatever, to be supportive during that time. And for those of you who have uh, loved ones that have some memory loss issues or 
are in a vulnerable state or situation or mm. they're living alone and just wanting to believe the impossible. Help them. Like, really, be supportive of those people because this thing ain't no joke. Thank you for joining me. Sorry for talking so much. But I think it needs to be out there today, you know, that these things are happening. You know, and if Microsoft is contacting you about issues on your computer, if you, you did not contact them, why are they contacting you? Because what they'll do is say, oh, we'll reimburse you that $40. And then the $40 becomes $4,000. And they flip the script and then they say, oh, we gave you too much. So now you got to give us that back. It's a game. There's all kinds of ways that people can link up to your computer, take control of your computer and be able to flip that script. So it's kind of like Slumdog Millionaire on a higher level. So, um, but and thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I hope that you'll consider subscribing, liking, sharing this video because I think lots of people really need to know this. And even though I'm not talking about food right now, I know it's Danette's Kitchen. This is important because it's going to take away from your bread and butter if you're giving your money to a scammer. Let's keep it real. And those three channels, you know, Pleasant Green, Scammer Payback with uh, Pierogi and Kit Boga, like I said, they're excellent channels for you to watch too. So I'm just giving a shout out to those guys because what they do is great, but they do it for hours. <laughs> Think I talk a long time? They do it for hours. I don't have that kind of tolerance. You know, I start that conversation and as soon as I hear that they're full of you know what, it's like, look, I don't have time for this. You're a scammer, you're a liar, blah, 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 clink, and I report them. <laughs> and I even have the programs on my on one of my computers where I can see where the contacts are coming from. So, And they share that information on their, their pages, so I'm not trying to take away from them, but I do want you all to know, to be aware. Tis the season to be aware. In fact, all year is the season to be aware. But right now, more than any other time, people are being tricked out of their money, out of their livelihood. Thank you. Take care, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.